And we are back with more adventures of the Florida Powerboat Club as we now reconnect with our members heading down to the Florida Keys for the 27th annual Miami Boat Show Poker Run 2022 edition. And this will be the wrap-up episode number four with feature coverage of this exciting event that happens in conjunction with and immediately following the closing of the Miami International Boat Show. And that's when all the teams get together and get the boats in the water and head down towards the Florida Keys. And as always, before we get started, let's thank our sponsors. Our 2022 series sponsors include Blackwater Boats and their sister company, Deep Impact Custom Boats, and their authorized sales center, Plantation Boat Mart. Mystic Power Boats, Cigarette Racing Team, and their authorized sales center, Top Gun Yachts, Cigarette Dealer, Chief Marine Group, Midnight Express Power Boats, Big Thunder Marine, Concept Boats, Performance Boat Center, Mercury Racing, and Florida Powerboat Club's longest running sponsor, Nortec High Performance Boats. And also joining us as feature sponsors for the Miami Boat Show Poker Run are the following companies. DCB Performance Boats, Legend Marine Group, dealers for Nortec, MTI Marine Technology Inc., and Manatee Marine, dealers for H-Craft Power Boats. And now I'm going to give you guys some visuals of uh, one of our host venues. This is the Playa Largo Resort in Key Largo. And uh, it's a location that really never got a lot of coverage in the previous episodes. And that's simply because, you know, most of the activities were taking place at Gilbert's. And that's where the Poker Run Village is and, of course, where the parties were. But here at Playa Largo, uh, you can see still a lot of activity. In fact, we had about 30 to 35 boats uh, registered to stay here. And it's not a very big marina, but if we get creative with the docking scenarios, we can actually fit quite a few boats in here. And one of the ways to do that, as we often do, is put similar boats together. So we've got these two Midnight Expresses. So there's Dara Ceriza and his 43. And alongside that's David Carey's 37-foot midnight. Uh, <laughs> looks like these guys are having some fun dockside. And what's great about this venue, though, is Soul by the Sea, uh, right there alongside the docks. And that's a place where many of us hung out. It's an open-air restaurant and bar with great views of the bay and, of course, the marina. But uh, there's some high performance there. We had one row that was uh, all skaters. Uh, there's, an, I think, a cigarette, a Mystic, a Big Outer Limits. And then the other thing is that if you have a boat with a narrower beam, you can fit into the slips. And for those guys with uh, performance fee bottoms and cigarettes and, oh, never mind about that. We're having a little dockside dance here. <laughs> but you can see a very festive atmosphere at dockside as everyone's had a great day of boating. And they're just uh, having a few cocktails and wiping down the boats and a beautiful view now looking back, you can see that the location of Playa Largo, which by the way is a Marriott autograph collection property, and here it is on the bay side, but looking over, you can see over to the ocean side, and uh, almost in that same shot is Mariner's Club, which is where we have private uh, three-bedroom and four-bedroom uh, townhomes and villas that are also have their own marina. So this is the format that we have used for the last couple of years, but of course that's gonna change going into 2023. We're moving this event back to the Postcard Inn in Isla Morada, just a few miles down the road. And the good news is for those of you who really like Playa Largo Resort, we are returning here in January of 23 for our winter poker run. And uh, that is a more suited uh, property for that size of an event, which is usually 25 to 30 boats. We can all fit in here nicely. And we are gonna be returning just in a couple of weeks. We just booked this venue for the Cigarette Owners Lunch, which is a part of the Key West Poker Run that's presented by Cigarette Racing. So we're gonna dock all the cigarettes here on the Thursday run and we get together for lunch before we head to Key West. So let's get back to Gilbert's, which is our Poker Run Village and uh, where we caught up with Dennis Delatore from Plantation Boat Mart. My name is Dennis Delatore and I am from Plantation Boat Mart and Marina. We are one of the oldest marinas in the Keys. We've been here going on now 35 plus years. We love the boating and the community. Being a part of the FPC crowd has just been, it's just elevated everything for us. Business-wise, friendship-wise, it's awesome. Uh, here we are on a 43 Blackwater, triple 600s on it, and uh, it's, it's been great. This is our first set, and uh, the boat's been absolutely unbelievable with it. The motors are quiet, which uh, does the boat wonders because this boat is extremely quiet. Uh, these Blackwaters, you know, we're over 800 gallons of fuel, 
you know, we're a nice beam, you know, we handle the rough water and we're still stylish. We have a triple screen set up. We could do dual screens also. Basically the boats come where we could customize the boat to your likings. Joystick options, you know, we have uh, freshwater showers, you know, we have, it's just, the sky's the limit when it comes to building our boats. We're not a uh, big production boat company. We're a very small production boat company. So our attention to detail is second to none. And another new sponsor that joined us is DCB Racing. They came a long way to attend. Here's the company's Tony Ciermonte. Hi everyone, Tony Ciermonte with DCB Performance Boats from California. I'm here at the Miami Boat Show 2022 Poker Run with Stu Jones and the crew. Uh, we sponsored this year and we got some really good dock spots so i'm just very very happy to be here and we feel very welcomed we designed this kind of with a lot of different ideas in mind as to where we want you to be able to hang out in the boat we incorporated a nice big cockpit we got six seats the seats are on power seat sliders the boat has a little more freeboard than some of our competitors which you feel safer and nice in the boat what you see in the dash is pretty standard. You got two, a 22 inch garment in the middle. We do two 12s on the outside. We do a fresh air fan system. This one here has an option. We did the dual helm so you can drive and throttle from either position. If you open these two deck lids here, they open gold wing style and it's one big storage unit. So there's no bulkhead in the middle. It's just all storage. You have a walkway everywhere. You're not gonna fall in the water. So you come out of the boat, you step back on the steps. As you come around the boat, you can walk all around the cockpit and you're not gonna feel like you're gonna slip or fall off the boat. We tried to keep the sea deck follow the flow of the boat. We did a full wraparound window. Our optics are pretty on point. We had a car designer help us with the, with the optics of the window, the way, the angle and the curve of it, there's zero distortion. And what we all did on this one is we have, we put the brace in the middle so there's nothing here blocking your view. And then we put a piece here so when you're in the back seat, you still can see. And you're, you're sitting down far enough, but you're still, out of the way and we split our back seats where they're splitting the front seat so everybody has a nice view. Boat comes with all lit up cup holders, we do RGBW lighting standard. I think we do a lot of stuff standard that other people will charge for. Our lamination process is as good or better than anybody's. We do a full vacuum infusion process with every part piece, the whole boat. <clears throat> and our boat, you guys, is 100% carbon and foam and that's the way we build them. There's no upcharge for that, we just build it into the price of the boat. This boat is 100% gel coat, so it is no paint. So it's done from in the mold out, so the boat comes out of the mold looking like this right here, we just cap it front and rear and polish it. So when you pick your paint job or your graphics, it's already done inside the mold. We do 15 boats a year. Um, we're based out of California and we try to keep, like I said, we try to keep the quality very high and the quantity where we feel comfortable with building boats. We'd love to do more, but sometimes when you get more boats, the quality comes down and something's gonna suffer you guys. So we really stick to what we are good at, which has put us on the map, is how well we put stuff together. So if you crawl into the dash in this boat, if you pull panels out of it, it looks as good as what you see on the front side. It looks as well as on the back side. So I really wanna thank you guys. Once again, thanks Stu, signing off from the 2022 Miami Boat Show Poker Run. Thank you guys, have a good day. Well, that was a great job uh, by Tony. Obviously not his first rodeo, been in the business for just a little while, but this new 37 is really spectacular. Owners Greg Harris and first mate Yvonne Aylman, uh, they really have this down. This is not their first offshore power boat. So as with this 37 and the boats they ran before, Greg is throttling and Yvonne is on the wheel. Clearly the dual helm is a great feature for this couple. Greg shared with us that they had enjoyed this event previously a year earlier, so coming back and joining us at Gilbert's was a part of their plan, and surely one of the reasons that DCB Racing uh, decided to join on as a sponsor. So thanks to Greg and Yvonne for that, and uh, hope you guys had a great time. And congratulations on the new boat. Well, time to get out on the waterways again and chase down some of our teams as they're out really playing today, doing fun runs. So that's exactly what John Wittenberger and his crew are doing. John Jr. from New Jersey and this 30-foot Spectre Cat. Uh, team Bad Decisions uh, does a lot of runs with us, and he's juggling not just his own boat, but several others, including his dad's cigarette and a couple other boats. He has been setting up transportation for a lot of these guys and, in fact, hauling them down himself all the way to Miami so everyone can have fun for the run. Looking good today across these open bay waters. This is why we love the Florida Keys. Here we are in the middle of February, bouncing around in the upper Keys from Key Largo down to Tavernier and Isla Mirada and beyond. And you can't find a better place to be enjoying a powerboat in the middle of February anywhere in the country for that matter. 
Thanks to John Jr. for giving us some great video for this episode. And from 30-foot Spectre Cat with outboards to this 52-foot Nortec with four Mercury Racing 1200s, it just proves that we really do have every kind of powerboat imaginable in this club. Um, Never Enough is owned by James Johnson, another team from New Jersey. Uh, I believe it's the second time we've seen this big Nortec Cat run with the club. We haven't seen very many four-engine boats in quite some time, at least four stern drive engines. But if any of you were following our sport or this club, you know, two decades ago, back in the late 90s, and uh, we rolled over into 2000, all the way up till about 2010, 11, you know, Nortec was building a lot of four engine boats. If they weren't 50 foot V bottoms, they were big catamarans. So thanks to Jim Johnson for really putting on a great show for us. Okay, guys, it just keeps getting better. Of course it does, because you're with the uh, Florida Powerboat Club here in the Powerboating in Paradise always has the lovely ladies and today it is Hannah who we, we are featuring and anybody has got to know Hannah if you're from Key West or if you've been joining us on any of our FPC events you'd know that she helps out Miss Jackie down at the Poker Run Village in Key West every year uh, but more recently you know Hannah said Stu I want to go on some more poker runs so can you and Jackie get us hooked up <laughs> so we're like okay uh, and since then, she joined us for the Winter Poker Run in January. And again, for this event, the Miami Boat Show Poker Run in February. Of course, we saw her in Key West in March. And she even made it to the Tampa event in April. So, yes, indeed, Hannah has become a very loyal FPC girl. What? There's a twin? Hannah, you didn't tell us you had a twin. <laughs> well, many people would probably think that Abigail, or Abby as we know her, is Hannah's twin. They're both very tall and slim and blonde, and yes, indeed, they always do a great job helping Jackie and I with the Powerboat Club events. But now behind the camera, and we've got Pete Bowden and our video crew working away today. But you'll notice that Abby doesn't get too attached to one boat. Uh, she seems to be enjoying herself here on this brand new H-Craft 44 center console, but where is she headed now? Oh, she's going to spend a little time here on this DCB Racing 44. Came all the way from California to join us on the event. So special thanks to Abby for looking great today, and we can be certain to see Abby again in Key West. Well, it was a big day Friday as uh, a lot of teams took to the waterways for little fun runs in different directions. And, of course, the sponsors are showing off their latest new models here at the Poker Run Village. But as the day gave away to the evening, the lights came up and the music came alive as Bobby Brown took to the stage and was joined by our very own Tommy Archer, who happens to be a very talented musician. And now you can see that the boat show is still very well underway. Remember that a lot of people decided to go for a little fun runs during the day. So some of our manufacturers and dealer sponsors, you know, they lost half of their fleet throughout the day. So having them all back here at night on display is really making for a beautiful show. And of course, adding to the show, Win Farnsworth and his 80 Sunseeker 007. And it's just a really, you know, chill vibe that everyone loves and being able to walk up and down the docks and see the boats with all of their LED lights on and the flags up. I think that makes for a fabulous show. It works well in Key West and now it's working really well here in Key Largo for this event. And of course, uh, as the party began, uh, our FPC girls began playing out all of the poker cards for our teams. And now Kendall is joining the crew with uh, Abby and Hannah to play out all of the hands. And this goes on for about two hours, maybe two and a half hours, giving everyone time to get up here and play out their poker hands and 
keep checking back on the boards to see how they're doing. As the evening went on, more and more people showed up. Remember, there's a lot of miles to cover. We have the Playa Largo and Mariners Club are about 8 to 10 miles down the road. We had altogether four shuttle vans running all evening long to bring everybody to the party. Because remember, not only are we playing out the poker cards, we're also doing sponsor presentations, and we're serving a big dinner tonight. And for those of you who have attended, historically, we make Friday night the big party for the Miami Boat Show Poker Run, and we give Saturday and Saturday evening back to the club members to do as they wish and go out and have some fun. Everybody else is having fun. Of course, somebody has to be working, and that's me making sure I've got all of my President's Choice Awards properly assigned to the right team. And believe me, that takes a long time to get it right. Next on the agenda was Sponsor Appreciation Awards. We kicked that off with Legend Marine Group from Texas, who displayed this Nortec 340 Sport. And here's Greg and Jennifer getting their award along with Craig Salazar. And this is the team we're going to see in Key West. They've got a Nortec 400 on display in the Poker Run Village next November. A special thanks to Team Midnight Express, who had a great showing. Uh, company owner Eric Glazer was on hand, and he joined us with this brand-new Midnight Express number 100, which was featured at the Miami Boat Show. Eric was joined by his wife, Hagen, along with his marketing rep, Leslie Puentes. And we were now joined by Team DCB Racing. Tony Cermonte was joined by Greg and Yvonne in the 37. And also a big shout out to uh, Franco and Angie Vivanco who came all the way from Arizona. They had that brand new DCB M44 powered by Mercury Racing 1550s. This amazing boat won the Best Catamaran Award. Our next sponsor presentation went to Eric Avila from Miami representing Concept Boats who really had an amazing display with up to five concepts on display at one time at Gilbert's Poker Run Village. And a very special mention uh, to Eric and for his crew for getting out and doing this nice photo shoot with three concepts running together. Uh, this is the kind of stuff that really makes our videos look fantastic and makes you guys look like you're all professional drivers. Special thanks to Performance Boat Center. They're always here at this event representing a variety of boat lines, including Cigarette Racing, MTI, Sensation Power Boats, and of course, Wright Performance Cats. Next up is Team Plantation Boat Mart. Of course, they are the worldwide dealer for Blackwater Boats and Deep Impact Boats. So while we had them up there, it was probably a good time to award them the Best Center Console Award, which I decided to go to this brand new 43 Blackwater, powered by Triple Mercury 600 V12s. And according to our records, the very first boat to be registered for an FPC event with the new 600. So congratulations to Plantation Boat Mart. And our next sponsor appreciation award went to Tom Stewart from MTI, who was joined by uh, Stephen Fernandez from TNT Marine Sales. MTI had a good showing on our event roster. In fact, uh, on the previous Key West event back in November, they won the Manufacturer's Cup for having the most MTIs on a Poker Run roster with over 50 registered boats. And next up is a Chief Marine Group based in Isla Morada, Florida. Dealers for cigarette racing as well as Costa Custom Power Boats. Their location is under construction at this time, but it will be a checkpoint on the Key West Poker Run as a fuel stop. Chief Marine Group had at least two cigarettes in attendance, including this 41-foot cigarette center console as well as this 515 powered by Mercury Racing Dual Cal 1350-1550s pictured here on the Bahamas Poker Run. And it was a very special award that went to uh, one of our longtime club members, Sal Olivia, who many of us remember as the Escape from New York, uh, which is 42 Cigarette X, but he's now enjoying this 39-foot cigarette. And the reason that we gave him the Member Appreciation Award was because we haven't seen him for quite some time. Uh, he took some time out for personal reasons after losing one of his sons at a very young age and it was uh, tough for Sal and for a lot of his family to handle but he's back at it and enjoying life with his uh, extended family with the Florida Powerboat Club. It was just nice to see Sal come back and be with us and indeed a very emotional moment for everyone. This is, this is for my son Dylan. 
And the most spirited team award went to Team Laughing Giraffe. That is uh, Tommy Archer there holding up the award. His crew attended in his uh, 41-foot skater. And yes, that was Tom playing the guitar earlier in the opening segment. And also attending in a skater that was completely refit was Michael Tandoy, Team Out of Control. They went out of their way to prepare some of the best outfits, both in the boat and when they were on land at the parties. And I can assure you that Michael goes out of his way to make sure his team looks so great, coming out with new outfits almost twice a year now. And here's another team that may have won the best dressed team with these beautiful MTI shirts, but this time Frank Bolte and his crew in Team Shark Rider took home the farthest traveled award. That's because Frank came all the way from Europe. In fact, he lives in Paris, France to join us for this event and as always one of the most fun awards to present and sometimes the most difficult is a sexiest crew award while well, we decided to share it between team never enough and team x-rated look at those pretty ladies you go girls and time to change gears and award our poker card winners uh, third place went to team shark rider that's frank bolte again and i love sending frank home with awards because you know there's no way he can fit those trophies in his suitcase so he's probably got quite a collection on his coffee table at his condo in fort lauderdale x-rated all the way from new jersey uh, joe gallo and his crew with this 50 foot outer limits they won second place and uh, their second time on the stage after sharing the award for sexiest crew they might have even won best dress crew with those cool team outfits so what a great team to have here. A very spirited, fun team all the way from Jersey. Glad you guys could make it. And now it's our grand prize winner is uh, James Johnson, another team from New Jersey, attending in uh, Jim's 50-foot Nortec Cat powered by four Mercury Racing 1200s, making it the highest horsepower boat we've seen on a poker run as long as I can remember. But there's no prizes for having the most amount of horsepower it was Lady Luck who took care of that tonight by giving them the best hand to win the Miami Boat Show Poker Run Grand Prize for 2022 edition here after 27 years of this annual event. And special thanks to my wife, Miss Jackie, and all of our FPC staff, as well as all of the staff here at Gilbert's Resort in Key Largo. What a great venue it's been for the last couple of years. We really, really enjoyed our time here. Hey everybody, have fun. And the great thing about having a party on Friday night is that Saturday it's wide open for everybody. And we found that many of us here came to the Postcard Inn at Holiday Isle in a popular place that in fact used to be home to this event for many, many years. But the attraction here today was really the nice weather. Of course, they have a great restaurant that's nice to visit and everybody loves that sandbar. We were able to get on board and go for a ride on this 50-foot MTI with our club member, Jake Nossiman, and that made for a really an enjoyable Saturday with such beautiful weather. And this is where the party ended up. Of course, the sandbar at Holiday Isle, as we know it, is on the Whale Harbor Channel as you exit out to the ocean side. This sandbar has been popular for decades where many boaters on any given weekend will gather up here and throw an anchor and raft up. And uh, of course, you just uh, wander off into the shallow water, nice, soft, sandy bottom through most parts of this sandbar. But really, it's just a, a visual experience uh, if you love boating because the boats just continue to go up and down through this waterway, going uh, in and out of the ocean and back into the protected waters. And uh, that's really what makes this such a great spot. And as long as we can have a beautiful weather like this in February, I think this is why the attraction for us to return to the Postcard Inn with this event for the 28th annual Miami Boat Show Poker Run. Uh, we're going to be able to take over the resort and all of the docking. And of course, this uh, sandbar is just literally a stone throw from the docks at Postcard Inn. And I think that's going to make for a great venue as we return here in February of 2023. So I couldn't think of a better way to wind down our Saturday activities than with this uh, great raft up here. And all of our teams uh, free to enjoy uh, local businesses all over the Upper Keys uh, for dinner and entertainment in the evening. This wraps up episode number four with complete coverage of the Miami Boat Show Poker Run. And we're rolling right on into our March events as we join our members on the Spring Key West Poker Run, which travels from Miami all the way to Key West in the middle of March as spring break was just starting to get underway. 
So with lots of great content ahead, you guys can't afford to miss another show. So first of all, like this episode, subscribe to our channel here at the Florida Powerboat Club, and hit that notification bell so you'll get an update every time a new episode is produced. Be sure to check out the website at flpowerboat.com for all of the details about upcoming Poker Run events in 2021, as well as membership information. You can follow us on Facebook at Florida Powerboat Club, and you can follow us on Twitter and on these Instagram pages. Thanks to all of our viewers uh, for your wonderful comments on our page. And you guys know who you are. And I really do appreciate that. But if you have questions or comments you want to direct to me specifically, please use my personal email at stu at flpowerboat.com. I check that daily and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. We're going to sign off for now. This is Stu Jones along with our producer, Ryan McCoy, in the Pompano Beach studio. Have fun out there, guys. Be safe on the waterways. Wear your life jackets when the time is right. And always respect your fellow boaters. Bye for now.